gives out in a quick breach, a lot of times the folks will not have as much time to react and, you know, especially go to safety. River levels rising across the Wabash Valley, putting folks living near levees on alert. Good evening and welcome to News 10 on my Fox 10. Several breaches have already happened across the area with more rain on the way. News 10's Matt Gregory takes a look at how these earthen dams keep you safe from the mighty Wabash. One look at these sandbags and you can tell this levee near Prairieton is reaching its limit. But as water trickles through the earthen wall, it's still protecting farms and houses from the floodwaters. I mean, back when they were originally constructed, they were offset uh, to allow the stream to flow uh, some in, within its own banks. But uh, the idea is to pretty much you know, capture the, the flow and protect the property on the outside of the levee. Hearing about levee failures may cause you to think these property protectors are not well thought out. But recent construction of levees has required the soil being used to be tested, and that makes sure the compact soil wall is not only strong, but difficult for water to pass through and saturate. But that doesn't mean they are by any means perfect. Two things can happen when the flood levels rise as high as they have in the Wabash Valley. The first is that the water can actually come up and go over the levee. Well, that's bad, but it's not as bad as the second option. And that's if the levee gets saturated too much and develops weak spots, and that can cause the levee to break. Bursting free of its boundaries, running across roads, and creating this scene across the Wabash Valley. Monday was sunny and emergency workers looked to fight the rising tide. But the rest of the week isn't quite as clear, and any new rain could be devastating. But then with this long-term duration of, of uh, saturation, you know, I mean, I'll be surprised if there aren't other levees uh, that are weakened. You know, whether they actually breached or not, hopefully not, you know, they'll, they'll do their job and support, but I think people need to be on the, on, you know, aware of their surroundings. Reporting in Vigo County with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Matt Gregory, News 10. Now, Adam says to alert emergency management officials if you see weakened parts in a levee.